All right, final question for 2016, question number seven. Again, it's a short response. All right, so this problem is a titration problem uh, where um, they're telling us that we're starting with 25 milliliters of, all right, a monoproduct acid asked to determine the concentration. So the big point is I'm gonna try to figure out the concentration of the acid. I'm I've got that base in my burette. That's the concentration. Um, and part A is I want to know how what is the volume of the base delivered in the flask. So to do that, you are going to take your final reading, which would be this right here. And you're going to subtract from that your beginning reading. And that, so here's your start for your beginning. Um, and that will give you how much is dispensed. Okay, be careful when you're reading a burette, you're gonna read from the top down. So that's one of the big skills that they're looking at. And you gotta pay attention to significant figures. So let's start with our final. It's somewhere between 37 and 38. So I know that it's 37 point something. Um, I've got increments marked off for every 10th place. So I know I'm going to have to go to the 100th place. So this is 37, 37.1, 37.2, and it looks like it's right on the line. So I'm going to estimate, there's my estimated digit, that it is 37.30, okay? Uh, purettes are usually... I don't see anything here, but if they don't tell you, they're usually in milliliters, okay? Um, my starting is going to be somewhere between 5 and 6 milliliters. So there's 5, that's 5.5, 5.6. It's not right on 6 or it's not right on 7, so I'm going to estimate it as 5.65. So there's my starting volume. If I subtract one from the other, 31.65 milliliters of my base um, has left this burette for the titration. Okay. So part B, based on the given information and your answer to part A, so part A, I said there was 31.65 milliliters of Na, OH, and there's my concentration of NaOH. They want to know, determine the value of the concentration of the acid. Okay, so I know that um, at equivalence, if I'm looking at equivalence point, and that would be, you know, what if the indicator changed colors, that's how much of my base. Um, was dispensed. The moles of my OH ions are going to be equal to the moles of my hydrogen ions um, because this is a monoprotic. Remember, this is a monoprotic acid. So they're going to be equal. Um, so in that case, I can use this formula to figure out the molarity of my acid. Okay, so I'm going to take the molarity of my base, multiply by the volume of my base, and divide it by the volume of your acid. Um, remember volume, oops, the volume of your acid has to be in liters, okay? So my molarity of my base is 0 0.110. The volume of my base that's this, that was dispensed, um, but I'm going to put that into liters, so it would be 0 0.03165 liters. And then the volume of my acid, let's go back here, I started with 25 milliliters, so to make that into liters, it would be 0 0.0250 liters. Um, 
And when I calculate all that, you should get 0 0.139 molarity. So part C of this problem um, is one of those one pointers where they're saying that um, they're giving you some evidence where the student is adding more NaOH. So there's your evidence. Um, and they want you to make some sort of claim. Did it increase, decrease, or have no effect on the acid co concentration? Um, so they're giving you the evidence. They want you to make a claim, and they want you to justify your answer using some sort of reasoning. So we're going to do a claim, evidence, and reasoning. The evidence is that we've added more NaOH. Okay. Um, if I did that, if I added more NaOH, that would mean I have more OH ions. And if I have more OH ions, that means I would assume that there are more hydrogen ions. Um, because I know that the moles of my hydroxide ions is gonna be equal to the moles of my hydrogen ions at the equivalence point, okay? So if, I'm, if I have more OH ions in there, I'm going to assume that there's more hydrogen ions. So making that assumption, if there are more hydrogen ions without changing the volume, my calculated um, concentration of my acid is going to be greater. So make sure that when you're doing this, you're using this method, the claims, evidence, and reasoning. You need those both parts. You need to make your claim and then justify your answer based upon the evidence either given or evidence that you come up with. And that takes us to the end of our 2016 review.